time to talk about there's a new moon in Virgo and just off the top of my head new moon in Virgo well ironically it conjuncts the Sun in Virgo and so like never before babes um, the Venetian cruise what Venus is, is capable of when she um, comes into her power we're looking at women needing to step up a little bit and that might need mean to step on top of and to kick aside the fakes see there are fake men and women here and then there are real ones and I keep kind of talking about this like double thing, like maybe there's two types here and it's still going along the same lines of, well, perhaps there's um, not just men and women here, but let's say that they both are capable of becoming human beings. Otherwise, they are a non-human entity. And did you know that your courthouses know about that? They, they, they call it a non-human entity. And see, did you know also that um, the human beings, they don't make it to court. Um, they, they uh, unfortunately, they might wait until a non-human gossips and, and drags them into court. And then, uh, then you find yourself in court saying, uh, trying to plead your case as if, oh, well, this is a place where I, where I can be heard. And it's like, no, too late. By the time you're there, you're kind of fighting for your so-called um, rights to speech when really you have to figure out what your right to remain silent means. Hey, don't hurt her too hard. No. Babies? Snakes? The main show is about these little sweethearts who, um, Virgo loves cats you know virgos are the feminine side virgin so they would maybe they would have a cat there because uh virgin isn't anything about human quality so much so uh, not more so than um just pointing at an original program there's original programs and happening here and like naturally you would have a cat say like if you have a home you know then you want a little helper around that will help with anything really they, they help with um keeping things moving um they'll go like um, well when they crawled into the corners over there they dusted the the um, corners out if anything they helped with them thanks for listening to this you guys um we've all been through a lot of stress over the last so many years and I want to congratulate the entire human organism, which is the airy side, the, the people that have kept their sense of humor, maybe, and they are energetic people, you know. Um, we do um, get a little bit um, too much into our heads, but because we're a head-ruled person, it's not, nothing that you think it is or, you can, or that you're getting. But really, it's just for them, it's just a little bit. You know, they're like, whoops, I, I actually thought that thinking was useful. Because uh, really, we're action-oriented people, very misunderstood. You have to catch a glimpse of us, and then, when, you know, Aries will do it industrially. Whatever they're doing, they're like, you know what? Hold my beer. And then they will really um, get you done. So as far as what's ha been happening, if humanity was to experience some kind of awakening, which they are, and they've... Um, Aries is, um, they, they don't really have to wake up. I hate to say that, but see, because they are the I am. And if you don't get that much, then, then you've missed everything. And pretty much we have not gotten that much. It starts when you're a, a child. You know, they say kind of like, um, that's when they get to us is when we're a kid. And then, um, it becomes difficult to get inside of our bodies, inside of our skin, inside of our faculties enough to begin to get the real education enough to be able to turn this mother out. Having said that, um, 
the delicacies that the earth planets, the earth of signs are. Um, and we're moving into sun. We already moved into sun in Virgo now. And then we have Mercury is going to go back into Virgo by the 10th. And when it does, you're, we are really going to experience everything that the new moon is bringing and suggesting to us to... Let me get my glasses here. Suggesting to us to clean out everything, give it a give it a a blowout, you know. Um, open the windows, um, get ready for fall, you know. Um, redecorate, but see that the thing is, is you don't have to redecorate. It's already happening. If you haven't noticed, the um, nature does perfectly fine. That's really what the holidays are all about: is that they accentuate. The time of year it is really, but they um, managed to turn it into such fairy tale land that that we don't um, we don't make a connection, I guess, and, and and it's possible to just not be able to make the connection because if you are, you have to get some choreograph right. If you are. Um, you know, stuck in a box and you're down in the city and it's hard to even notice the color of the sky down there. You're not going to notice the seasons either. And so then why not just start doing um, holidays and stuff and, and, one, and, and buying the plastic colored fall leaves and decorating your homes with that. Some people bring them up here where they're, it's where it's all happening, you know. And, and I find that fascinating because you know what happens with that stuff? Compost. Most all of it, I mean, all of it, but see, where I live, um, if you knew, I would love to give you information more about intricately where I live personally, but let's just say it's in a, a small community, uh, a mile high, and then there's another mountain that's another mile high, so there's a, a, a two-mile high mountain peak here, and um, the mile high town is... Um, I don't know what they're going to do with it. See, it's all, it needs so much work. It needs to be gutted out and rebuilt, right? And, and even I'm looking at it, you know, like after a while, it's like, well, this is what they've been doing. They kind of burn places up and then they rebuild things. See, the thing that I'm against is <sighs> rebuilding just nothing but crap here. It's the, it's the model that says, let's build everything square for one. And it's like, you know, you can use, um, you can build domes made from the earth using the earth that you have to tractor around anyway. Well, use that dirt, little silica sand. Anyway, um, see, I mean, I know it's, it's the market up here. There's two markets and you go in the back, you know, in the, in the stock room and it's, um, I don't see how that they don't get shut down because it's like, you don't even want to um, keep barn animals in there, let alone store food and stuff like that. And, it's um, it's old. It was built rustic in the first place, a lot of it, and it wasn't. I don't know if it was meant to be what it is now. See, they tried to you know they turned things into a supermarket when when like for sure like I remember the village market was a was an everything market, you know it it and um, the thing is is that you don't really um. You bring all your stuff up here, you know, you're coming up into the mountains and, and you bring your things, you, you stock up and you're doing kind of a camping, you're kind of enjoying that, you know, the stuff up here is like for emergency, um, they, they open the stores up here, but no, um, oh God, the way it was in the 80s when I would walk around with my grandma, whenever I would come up here, um, there was this little health store. Everything is rustic, by the way. Everything is like way more rustic than this cabin. See, my cabin here is built by a man who, he, he knew the right materials to use. And it was before when they started, um, it's before when they started skimming off and being skimp, skimping out on measurements of wood. So back before, I guess, I think it was, um, in the 50s, they they had the right 
measurement, uh, a three quarter inch piece of wood was measured a righteous three quarter inch, you know, whatever we equated that to be. But see, when you take a tape measure to a three quarter inch piece of wood now, like at Home Depot, it's like an eighth inch short. And it's a big difference after a while. And uh, supposedly it's a big difference for them because they, they get more out of it when they cut trees. And But it's a very flimsy situation. It's warped. It's almost see-through. Talk about paper. And anyway, um, my grandpa knew how to use the best of the best, you know, talking about it like my grandma would. She would say, you know, when it, when it called for two nails, he would put four. When it called for a certain spacing apart, like as, as a limit, he would he would put it closer together and make it stronger, you see. And on top of that, you know, with that, he still, he managed to, um, would bring pieces from other places, like he would reuse materials. And you, if you can understand, it's like, well, yeah, because they don't make those materials anymore. And it's like that now. I have some things laying around here. Um, a lot of things. And it's like, you know what? They don't make it like this anymore. Uh, you would have to order it and get something from Persia or something like that. It's They pick on places. Thanks for listening to all this. I was just, let me go stir my oatmeal. I'm getting ready for breakfast, getting ready for the day. It's going on. Well, a lot of people would say it's already the, the morning is over. And it's, and it's 8 o'clock, but sure um well i guess we're done i wanted to just make this video with this and i was trying to talk about the new moon but i think i'll talk about it later but i'll just do a little entrance you know the new moon in virgo that happens here on the third of september and it's on it well it's looking like we have a double 10 degrees here the the sun stays at 10 degrees on the second and the third for whatever reason it does that that's special um, but that could be just a glitch about the timing and stuff, but still the, the, the Zodiac has to do that every once in a while, you know, to, to catch up with, or, um, the fact that it, there's 360, but then there's 365 days, you know, so it has to skip a degree. Um, and it does somehow, I don't, I don't know. And just here, let's do that. And whatever programmer is, is helping us out with our, uh, programmed universe here. And it is very much so you should understand. So this month, I mean, we're talking about next, um, well, like today, today is the 27th. Now, what is happening? You know, do we, that we have this, um, coming up is the, the, the square with, um, Venus and Neptune. And, and that is a very awkward time for people who live in self-deception and who, uh, makes me think of the, the, just the whole population, you know, everybody who, like I said, they, they think of this, uh, the seasons in a certain way, when really it's like, no, it, there's seasons. Um, there's a sky that you observe and, and the sun is there and it's there for a certain amount of time at a certain time of year. And that's when, you know, we'll talk about the sun by December, it goes down and hovers by December 25th. We're like, Ah, is the sun going to rise? And then, and then the science of it is that it, it finally starts rising after three days. It finally comes up again. And then everybody is celebrating and saying, you know what? I bet you anything it's going to be the same way. It seems to have been the same before. Let's crack open our old, our, our spoils. The stuff that we've saved for over the winter and um, whatever it may be, peaches, apples, raisins, frozen things, um, uh, feast away, babe, um, in the middle of winter, that's what you're supposed to do, it's, that's what's called Christmas time, um, uh, you, you exchange the gifts of what you know that you have been able to, um, kind of plant seeds and, and reap the rewards of over the, the span of the year, and in the dead of winter, it's called so-called dead of winter, I mean, we're talking about, we're getting into Capricorn, and, and these people, you know, I mean, if you want to learn astrology and know how to do it and what it's all about, start equating it. You can say, well, you know, because Capricorn is moving into the dead of winter, these people are like the dead of winter kind of people. It's common that, you know, uh, it rules old people. It rules that winter time, time of the, the person when they're getting older, like, you know, they're getting gray and white and... Um, it's not bad, you know, it's the time of introspection, it's a time of extreme wisdom, 
clarity, um, slowing down, of course, but it's it's like, yeah, when the seed is not ready to plant yet, but it has already sprouted there, the potential there, it's just, it's all this wisdom, and, and it's encapsulated, and, you know, I mean, it reminds me of, if that seed was God himself, itself, the information that's needed, it, it there is a, a, a way that you treat it, right? There's a way that you respect it. There's a way that you handle it, and you can't just force it out. You know, you have to wait, and then the sun rises, and that would be, maybe that's your awareness. See, um, the sun rules Leo. That's the way you do astrology, is you start using your imagination, like blending it in. You know, Leo's, um, we just got through the, the Leo um, sun, which is the middle of August, which is, if you haven't noticed, it's like just these amazingly vibrating orange sunny days and and everything is just like you know in, in mid mid bloom like more like fruition right the, the flowers are already done and it's just steaming with um, the potential of what is come what is to come see pardon the pun we're Scorpio over there they're like yay she said come Minute 16, and you just got the reason why people would think it was worth a damn. But do you notice my kittens? Mm. Ah! Oh! Babies! Snake eyes. Ooh! Hi! Hi, little baby. No, don't. Shh. They're going to start chomping on the cords. Hi, little sweetie. Oh, 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 do you see how cute he is? Oh, this is a boy. I can't believe him, by the way. You know, I couldn't believe it. Uh-uh. And the way that he purrs? Oh, God. And there's his sister. There's his sister. I'm having to feed them of her, particularly. She's, she's they are very still very young, and and um, doing homesick. I already told you about that, mama sick, and so I've been really good about just replacing all of that fidgeting and, and making sure that they get their food and water. And and she's sparking right up. You know how boring a lifestyle that they do have. Um, that. They get up and they play like crazy and they flip around. They be really, really cute, by the way. They, that's that's their main thing. I'm sure narcissists hate it. They're like, he's why? The narcissists don't get the truth across the board, and, and it's like, and then when they see a cute animals, and everybody's giving it attention. It's like, I gotta go. Bye. You know, pretty soon it's like either it's either them or me. It's like no, actually. It's either, um, can you just be cool with awareness? I mean, awareness isn't a mind. Awareness is now. Can you be present with and available to the to the moment now? And you're like, yeah, after I lawn more these kittens out of our lives. Because you're next as far as the damn lawnmower. It's important to live a lifestyle that you can relax enough to be able to hear the intelligence of a cat or something beyond what is projected on them, you know, um, big time. I mean, God, it, it, especially nowadays, I'm here to tell you that this little, dog, these are little cats. Um, I call them 5D cats. And it's like, well, what do you mean, Shana? Boy, are they receptive to everything. They're about, I mean, my cat walked over the, to the cell phone and started to try to scroll and shit. And I'm like, what the hell? And, and they're like, by the way, this is only for cats. Oh. Yeah, because when you leave to go to work, you leave your cell phone or your computer on, or your TV. I don't know about you, but I left my TV on. It was uh, in the beginning. of I didn't have um, internet until about uh, 2015. Can you believe that? And and so I had a TV. Uh, and I re while I was working on um, eight-hour days, and I had a beautiful cat. She was older and really intelligent. The, the cat just moved this thing all the way. So anyway, um, she, um, I, I noticed that she watched television and she really likes the, well, at, at noon, when I got home for lunch, the show, um, uh, funny as some videos, but, but, but really it was the, the animal bloopers, the bloopers that animals do. 
And see, I would look forward to coming to, to visit my cat because I would be at work all morning and it's the only time I could see her in, in the middle of the day. But when I get home, she's busy watching that show. I couldn't say hi to her or anything. I'll just eat food and then she'd be watching the, the mice and people laughing about the cat and the dog or whatever. She's just intent watching that show. And I'm like, well, I guess I won't interrupt her in her damn show and I'll go back to work. But my point is, 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 is for sure, it's for babysitting cats. A lot of it, most of it. And we use it right now for whatever lazy ass reason is stupid. We have to get to work because, uh, why? Because the cats are hungry. And they might need like a tree or something. You have to get out there and grow trees and build them also. So. Baby! Have a nice day.